here at the Seattle Convention Center, uh, this year covering the Girl Geek Con. This is the third uh, uh, of the annual Girl Geek Con uh, uh, conventions. It's our first year covering it, so let's get inside and find out what this is all about. We're here again with our friends Heath and Alex from last year's Emerald City Comic Con. They're wearing the same costume before they retire them because they have a big announcement coming up. So this year at Emerald City Comic Con we're featuring our brand new build. We're actually doing the brand new uh, Halo 4 armor for Master Chief and we're also doing a matching core top. Cool. Now, here's where you get, uh, you get to stand in the middle and look awkward like I usually do whenever there's an intelligent conversation. <laughs> uh, we're going to ask you, what does Girl Geek Con mean to you? Uh, yeah, I get it right this time. I've been getting the names crossed. Girl <laughs> Geek Con, I'm good. To me, Girl Geek Con is just a celebration of everything geek and everything girl. Unfortunately, one of the big uh, stereotypes from the geek community is that it's largely a male-dominated field. But actually, there's a large number of female nerds out there. And this is a great place for us to celebrate who we are and what we love. Well, I think... Uh, uh, the first got conventions had to get together for guys being shoved in lockers. I don't know if uh, I don't know if uh, you girl geeks suffered the same level of uh, of pain and ridicule, but with those cyberbullying, I, I definitely have to sit corrected. Um, maybe not as physically, but there definitely is a, an isolation that comes when you are younger, when you are a young nerd that is just blossoming. You kind of try to hide those things, we end up kind of being a little bit outcast for it, and when you come here, none of those things apply anymore. Suddenly you're with your own people, everyone's very friendly, because everyone's just really nice people, and we're all here to celebrate the same things, and that is who we are and what we love. Now how is it? Darth McKenna. She is here at Girl Geek Con. Are you having a good time? You are having a good time? Did you know that uh, Tasha Yar is here? Yeah. Do you like Star Trek? You like Star, you like Star Wars better, don't you? I see. Well, uh, Darth McKenna, what does Girl Geek Con mean to you? Well, it means to me is like seeing new characters my baby brother, he's new to the, our family, so he's, he might come tomorrow to see some of the characters. Now, because you've got a little baby brother, is that what switched you to the dark side? No. Okay. Just want to make sure you didn't go all jealous because you have a baby brother now. Are you looking forward to the new Star Wars movies? Okay. Uh, I see most of them. What's that? I see most of them. You've seen most of them. Really, really funny. Oh, please tell me it's not the one with Jar Jar. Yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> to go to more fantasy-based conventions, um, so now I'm going to a lot more comics conventions. Uh, and Captain Marvel is actually the first character that I ever really connected with and, uh, and started. So, so Carol's taking the name Captain Marvel. Now. Yes. I'm a little behind, I guess. Yes. Yeah. The um, the new series Captain Marvel has been Carol Danvers, and in the first issue, she she wrestles with the idea of taking on the name. Let me just tell you, <laughs> don't don't be too attached to the name. They, Marvel will take it from a woman it's like true. that if they want to give it back to one of the boys. In the
I am here with the uh, new Captain Marvel, Carol Danvers, or uh, Kit for short. Uh, and uh, you run the... Uh, I run comic book characters for causes. Yes, causes. we raise funds for children's charities. We spoke with Batgirl before, so you, you've got a good Marvel DC crossover. Yes, going. we absolutely do. Uh, tell us about your organization in depth. Well, we, uh, we uh, get together cons just like this. We have a lovely group of people here, and we raise funds for a Seattle Children's Hospital, for uh, Camp Good Times, which is an American Cancer Society a group, and we just uh, try to make sure that... Red-headed, bearded guys in wheelchairs. <laughs> we're here for you, too. <laughs> um, no, we're just, uh, we just want to make sure that kids can forget that they're sick. You know what I mean? That's just, so they can have a normal, happy lifestyle. Yeah, the kids really brighten up when they see the costumes they're familiar yes, with. Yes, they absolutely do. Uh, we were talking earlier, this is a lot like the uh, the Disneyland sensation, where yeah. they get to meet the superheroes. Yeah, absolutely. And I, um, I have wonderful volunteers that are actually, you know, just like Disneyland characters. Now, now do those nice folks over over there scare the crap out of the kids in the hospital? <laughs> we don't let them in the hospital. I was going to say, they show up in that costume in the elderly ward, people are going to think that they, you know, death Yeah, is I know. We, we, we keep them away from the hospitals. <laughs> okay, is there anything else you'd like to share? Um, uh, is there a phone number? Uh, yeah, I let mean, me... Uh, just, I can just throw all the stuff on the card up. Yep, that okay. works too. Yep, alrighty. You can say the number. Yes. You know, they get I, to well, hear it and I, see it. Okay. You need to Are read you gonna the card, this? don't you? I'm sorry. We're going to have to the way I've been I, operating I know, today. I'm sorry. All right. Our website is cbc4c.org. Okay, hi, this is Dan, and I am uh, still at the Girl Geek Con, or more specifically, Geek Girl Con. Uh, I'm with a couple people who have terrifying skin conditions, uh, and we were going to ask you what Girl Geek Con meant to you. You can be in character, or you can try to calm me down uh, and, and come back out of character. Her voice is amusing to me, because it's just and not I'm, fitting the mask. I'm smiling, and no one can see it. <laughs> Really, really, we're very charming people. Um, this is actually our first time coming to Geek Girl Con, um, and, and so many of our friends, especially in the costuming community, go here. So we, we had to come. We had to show up. And uh, most importantly for me, it gave me another excuse to wear this out in public. Yeah, well, when you wore that to get the home loan, I want to tell you that's probably why the bank turned uh, you down. Yeah, it all makes sense now. <laughs> High credit score, but dressed like a skeleton only goes so far. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what does Girl Geek Con mean to you? It is her her event. You're just tagging along. Remember? Yeah. It so far, uh, since this is my first one, um, I've gotten a great feeling of this inclusive happiness. Um, and that's kind of what I've been looking for. It's just a nice laid-back convention. Everyone just is very supportive of each other. And, and they, they take the undead, too. They, they take anyone. So, so my idea to corral all the men into a large living room-looking lounge with a widescreen TV with a sporting event that says, you men stay here, and this is for the girls, that was kind of a waste of... That's not a good idea. Right? Yeah,